We won't take the full 30 minutes, but I'm going to give you a really neat thing that I've done in a couple presentations in certain areas. It's using a marquee feature across the top and putting in a background. Uh, Amy O'Neill did a really excellent presentation, I believe, in last week's Midwest user one on this and expanded beyond it. So if you're looking for ideas and things, she did a really great job and gave us a lot of good information. The marquee feature we've had for a little while came in from a customer, my friends at Oakland County. We're always looking for new and more interesting ones to do as well. But you'll see what it is. So I've got a marquee flashing across the top. They came up with a way to do that. So what you have to do first is you better be good friends with your admin people because what's going to happen is you got to go out to the central management console and me pop it up. And if you go into the CMC, and a lot of you may not have the authority to do this, so it might cost you a subway card to get them to do this for you or maybe a free lunch, although it's all virtual, so I don't know how we would do that. But you got to pick authorize HTML elements. And by the way, don't worry about copying this all down. I have an excellent handout on the marquee for adding a marquee that will include the slides here for the CMC as well. And what I did was I went in and I added in the marquee feature, as you see right here. I added it up here and put left, comma, right, followed the rules for it. And that's all I really had to do for the CMC side to get it set up. Okay, so it does require some administrative help in order to do that. And most of us typically are not going to have the authority to do that. So how do I actually define that itself? Well, a couple of things worth noting. I have it as defined as a variable, but I ended up in this particular case were great. But there's another example I'm going to bring up at the end to show you where I did it um, not as a variable, but right into a specific cell. Because what I wanted to be able to do is conditionally hide the cell based on other conditions. So if it's a variable, I couldn't, couldn't apply it in the same way that's here. So the, the trick to it is, number one, making sure the CMC setting, you add that marquee feature in, it's set up. That's number one. Number two is you've got to define the formula. And let me show you what it is. And again, don't worry about copying it down. I'll pop it up. And here we go. Notice the description box now in the variable window. So you can put help messages in there. You better be. You need to be doing that. That's a new feature. I'm thinking SP6 or whatever, but um, if you're really lost on what's in what's release, uh, I, in my email, I can send you my little grid. I built an, a grid with the uh, SAP slash uh, new features in, in what's in each service pack release. Some of you have gotten it, have been in my training, but if you're interested, it can help you as well. But here's the actual uh, syntax that you see right down below. Here are my equals. Let me see if I can zoom that up a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Going the wrong way. I got to zoom it up this way. Well, I think I screwed that one up doing that. So there it is. Let's see if I can blow it up here. Well, so looks like it's off and running on me when I don't want it to do that. That's a little bit too small, I think, huh? Can make it big the other way. We'll bring it back up again. My apologies, going the wrong way with it. Trying to make it bigger. You'll have it, so you'll be able to see it later on. So, yeah, so it keeps on going. I don't want it to keep going. There's one I'm not. Uh, so, got to make it smaller now. 200, 160, going on to 100%. That should do it for us. Wants to keep jumping. Let's see. So, where's my marquee? Oh, if I jump to the other uh, report that I had open earlier. So, so here's the syntax for it equals, you have your double quote and your HTML within the angled brackets, marquee direction equals left or right. You, and I, my message was use map tab to navigate the state. That's what I put in there for that one. And then I closed it out with the HTML and so on that you see right in there. As always, I do a check mark feature on it to make sure it's okay. And then I do an okay and you think you're good to go. But there's something else you gotta do. You got to go out to the cell, the actual cell that was inserted to hold the variable, and you're going to have to go to format cell. And again, this is all outlined very nicely in the handout. And I had to read the content as HTML. That was the trick. It normally comes up with text, but it comes up with HTML to convert it for there. And lo and behold, I had my moving marquee. Now, I've had problems with it come up, and I've noticed people, other people doing presentations before Amy ran into what I did, where um, uh, you end up having to save it. Sometimes I got to close it, whatever, and then the marquee kicks in and it stays in permanently. All right. So what I did, there's one other document I want to show you and that's for this presentation. It's one I did as part of the series. And where is it? It's hiding. 
hiding blocks. It's in my demo documents. Let me get the right one. Hiding blocks in, let me open it up here. This is one I did recently where I layer the reports or the charts and I use an input control gadget to control. See, they're all four showing up here. If I go to my input controls features on the left here, let me show you how this works. You'll see the marquee thing come up in there. Oh, I guess I didn't save it with that one. Huh, okay. I was going to show you the example there, but that one doesn't have the, uh, well, let me, uh, I don't have, uh, let me define for it. Oh, I know what it is. Got to get in design mode first. Let me do a whole lot unless I have that set up first. Missed that part. Oh, I don't have any defined for it, but I had, so, well, I'll, I'll have it uh, in the example I'm doing up here. So what I needed to be able to do is I wanted to be able to hide this under certain conditions. The one you just saw where I had the four charts. If I picked all four charts, I wanted this to come up and I had a little message that said, use the map tab to navigate through, through the list. So what I did was I would hide that depending upon whether it was all four on the screen at the same time or just one. So I went down to format cell for that one. And what I did was, uh, well, let's see, in this case, if it's going to let me do it. Nope, I don't have it defined correctly as a cell for that one. I don't have it defined. So let me do this. I will show you the presentation for it, just to give you the last piece of the puzzle. I'll find it in my presentation handouts, in which you're going to be receiving some of these. And the ranking on, let's see, marquee feature. I've got all these different presentations. Here's layering the blocks with input controls. That's the one I just did recently at the, I think last week's session that you might want that one. It was one that we saw similar already. Let it open up. Jumped on me. So we'll get that one to come up. All right, and, I'll, and then what I'll do in this presentation this one will give you the additional information. Let me show you how I did the hide for the, um, for the marquee feature that was out there. But most people don't do the hide part of it, but I did that in this case. So you saw the marquee already. And this is a really great one for using layering your, your charts and reports and using input controls to drive it. But here was the hide logic that I had to build in. Now if my switch was equal to cross table, well, it's gonna hide the block, that's not the one pie charts, these are the little hide logic that we did for hiding. Okay, but let's get the one for the input control for hiding the cell near the bottom, and that was the all example, and then it disappeared on top, nope. So what I did was for the, uh, this is for the uh, switch is equal to, if it's equal to all, it's gonna hide the formula, and that formula was actually the marquee going across the top, so. If you look at the total presentation, you'll be able to see, but this is a really good one. A lot of interesting pieces in there, but it shows you how to hide the cell based on what that little switch or a local variable is as well. So it's a pretty cool feature. It's very easy to put marquees in there. Make sure the admin does their job for you. That's easy enough. Make sure you set the format from text to HTML and then let it rip. If it doesn't pick it up, save it out. You might have to close it and come back in. I've had that happen sporadically. But overall, it makes it really, it's a really easy feature. By making it look easy, it really is. Getting that formula just right is the trick. Again, you don't have to worry about trying to remember it all in my handout. You'll have the, uh, the actual syntax that you see right there. And you can use it in different examples as well. So that's it for that one. It's not the full time. I knew it would only be at 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm hoping to give a little extra time for Roxanne's great presentation that she could use. So any questions? Hey, Michael, thanks. Um, let me take a look here. I didn't see any come in, so I'll just double check before we yep, hand it over to Roxanne. Yep. This is another one of the handouts available in the handout packet that, that I will send out for those requesting. So good stuff. Um, Kathy is asking if you could show the CMC setting again. Sure. I closed it, but I can get right back out to it. That's no big deal. Yep. In, in the handout, I've actually captured all that screen information for you. So you gotta be an administrator to do this, and most of you probably will not uh, have administrator rights to log into the CMC. So it's a quick five minute thing for them to take care of. It's all it takes, really. So let me refresh it, come back up. 
Yeah, come on, log back in, guys. I'll just close it, come back in again. Okay, it's, uh, well, let me minimize this one so I can get back to my shortcut. Log into CMC real quick. Let it come back up. And I'll show you the setting. And again, the handout is great because it lays it out in black and white. So CMC, I logged in. It came up, authorized HTML elements right here. And again, Amy O'Neill had some excellent additional ideas and things for that. I went over here and I selected the option for adding. Here's the marquee feature that I added in there and what it required, and that was it. Saved my changes when I got out of here, and that was all I had to do to take care of it. It's really easy, really easy for them to set up. And, you know, It's nice if you can go to the administrators and say, look, don't tell me this takes a long time. Here, here's exactly what you need to do. And it makes it quick and dirty to get that one in there. And then that took care of that, and then you just had to make sure you change the, uh, uh, the, when you do a format on the cell, that's the other. That's the one most people forget. Get the CMC people to do their job here, but it won't pick it up. You didn't go to format cell. And when you didn't go to format cell, it didn't change this to HTML. It showed text and it didn't pick it up. So again, my handout is very thorough. It gives you everything you need to do to make it work before and after. And there it is. Now, sometimes these things are really easy. This really is an easy one. Just make sure you get the syntax typed in correctly. That I'm not responsible for that part of it. But again, and that cell could be formatted to, to hide based on various conditions as well. So if you look at that layering uh, example that I showed you that I can make available, uh, you can see how conditional formatting worked for hiding the cell. So great stuff. And it's worth looking at Amy's uh, presentation from, uh, I think it was last week's session. All right, any other questions? Are we all set? Um, it looks like they were uh, asking if you're going to send the handout or if we have to ask for that. I believe you do you want have to, to send you an email for it, right? So I know, who, yeah, because not everybody wants all presentations and so on. And uh, that's typically it. So so what I do is based on you wanting them, just let me know, and then I'll pull them through. From today's session, I'll pull out ones that I have, and I'll make sure you get them in bundle. All right. Do you want to just go ahead and pull up your contact info there real quick, Michael, sure so that they can get it that. down for the ones asking right now? Yeah. Yeah, let's get it back up there. The other one, where'd it go? Oh, oh I close it out. No, nope. guess I did. I didn't think that I did. Let me get it right here. I must have closed that one out by accident. Um, I guess I closed it out. Well, here it is. That'll open it up and we'll have it right there. 